inherits the mechanism of a professional machine and the sound quality of the R1, and the analog copy is also impeccable. Tiac R10 180,000 yen The R10 combines the functionality and mechanism of the Tascam brand Professional DAT with the sound quality of the esoteric brand DAT R1 in an easy-to-use, low-cost package. Although it is low-cost, it is actually a high-end machine among recent DATs. The design is orthodox and not eccentric. It is a rather conservative design. Actual weight is 10.5 kilograms. The wood side panel is a high density type and weighs 640 G. The bonnet is 1500 G with anti-vibration tiles on the back. Attached with a total of 11 screws, four on both sides tightened with the wood and three on the rear. The legs look like radial type molds, but are magnetic and weigh 55 G. The AC cord is a 2.0 mm 2 flat cord. The cabinet has a partition plate in the center connecting the front and back, and the left side has two channels U-shaped cross-section beams that support the mechanism, making it strong enough. The right side has a large iron plate that divides the board into upper and lower halves, making it even stronger. The board is firmly attached, but the iron plate is used to completely separate the top and bottom, perhaps to separate the digital and analog. The functionality is standard, but as a successor to professional equipment, it has a rehearsal function with an accuracy of plus or minus 0.15 seconds, and when writing the ID, you can manually set the exact position. The recording and playback volumes are also professional. The recording can be adjusted independently for L and R, but a high-quality product is used that allows the two to be moved in tandem even if only one is turned, and has the same mechanism as the volume used in Sansui's main amplifier, the B2102MOS. The AD converter is a 1-bit type, and the DA converter is a multi-bit type with 18-bit 8x oversampling. The reason for the different types is unclear, but it is probably decided for auditory reasons. Inputs and outputs are fully equipped with balanced, unbalanced, optical, and coaxial digital. As for the recorded and played sound, the ideal DAT would be one that sounds exactly like the original when copied from a CD, and in fact many DATs come quite close to that. The difference can be clear with particularly nasty software, but with normal software it's hard to tell the difference. With early DATs, there was inevitably a difference with analog input, but recent DATs have focused on analog input, so even here the difference has disappeared. This unit is flawless with both digital and analog copies, and although this may be to be expected given the price, it does stand out from cassettes.